Hey guys, Corey Davis here from Corvo Training. And I want to show you the easy straps from Elite FDS. We just got these in and I'm really excited because I think they'll make training with chains much easier. So I'm going to talk about what these are, why I like them, how to use them, and then the different types of people I like to use chains with and why. So the way these work is this loop right here goes on the barbell. And then once that loop is on the bar, I just get to hook the chain in at whatever height is necessary. So I had Grace, one of our trainers, squatting, and this is a good squat height for her. So to get the chains draped on the ground, I want as much chain off the ground as I can while there's still some chain off the ground because I don't want it swinging around. So this is actually good for someone Grace's height. For me, when I go, I'm a little bit taller, I would put it on this bottom rung. So depending on the exercise, you can put it in a different height. So if I was benching, I would do it off of this one, the tallest one, because I would want that as my bench height right there. I wouldn't want it taller than that because if I bench pressed all the way up to here and the chains came up all the way off the ground, that wouldn't be good because then they would swing around. So we want a little bit of chain on there so they don't bounce and swing around at the top. So whenever we are at the lockout position on a lift, we wanna have a little bit of chain on the ground and these different heights will let us do that very easily. So there won't be any fumbling around with lengthening and shortening chains or anything like that. So much more convenient, really excited about this. So who do I like to use chains with would be the great follow-up question. Why are they useful? So. At a very base level, the chains work by making the exercise lighter at the bottom and heavier at the top. So if you're an athlete or a lifter, I think that's really useful because one, it can help train you to move the bar faster. So when you get down to the bottom of the squat, when you get down to the bottom of the deadlift, you can learn to really accelerate through the lift because you're not gonna be able to lock it out if you don't have speed going into the more difficult which is now more heavier part of the lift. So as you go up, you might have 225 here at the bottom, but at the top, it's now 275. So while it's relatively light, you want to accelerate the barbell to get through the part where it's heavier. So that is a reason I would have a lifter do it so they can move more weight, but also an athlete, because I want to teach them to move faster. So athletes, lifters, I think chains can be really good. And then if you are an adult who has an injury of some sort, it kind of seems like chains wouldn't be as useful for you because lifting super heavy isn't your goal and the technique necessary to do so isn't your goal. Learning how to be faster isn't your goal. You're just trying to avoid injury. However, the chains can be really good for that because the bottom part of a lift is often where people have the most issues. So the chains would be a way to help introduce those movements to them where it's only challenging at the top. So if you have somebody squatting and they have some issues at the bottom of the range of motion, maybe that's where their back hurts, maybe that's where they feel uh, some instability, then at the bottom of the squat, all those chains are resting on the floor and this is actually the lightest part of the lift. And then as they come up and they start getting more comfortable, they're in a more advantageous position. Now the weight starts coming off of the floor and it gets onto you and it is more challenging. I really like that for a squat or a deadlift for someone that has some sort of back issue because it allows us to challenge the top of the motion where I'm not too concerned about them getting into a bad position or hurting themselves. So those are the two like extremes that we work with in here inside Corbone Training, you know, athletes, lifters looking for top tier performance and regular people with injuries that we're trying to work around. And I actually think the chains work really well for both those populations. And then honestly, I think the chains are fun. If you haven't done them before, it's a fun way to change up your training. Because the weight varies so much throughout the motion, it's hard to go into it with any preconceived notion of how much you should be lifting like you do on other exercises. So it kind of just lets people relax and try hard, which I like. It's novel, it's fun, it's unique. It's not like it's something you can do at a hotel gym. So it kind of helps with buy-in in terms of, hey, I'm in here in the gym and I wanna do something different that I can't do at home. This is likely something you can't do at home. So I like it for all those reasons. So all I have to say, I think chains are fun. 
with the easy strap here from Lead FGS, I think we're much more likely to do it more often because our old system of a secondary chain that we had to vary how long it was and fold in a bunch of different ways to get to the right height was a massive hassle. Now there's no hassle. This thing never needs to get changed again. You just put it on the different height that you need for whatever exercise you're doing. So I'm super excited about it and excited to see our trainers use it in sessions a little bit more often.